The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, was established in 2003 in response to pressure uh, from the Financial Action Tax Force on Money Laundering, which named Nigeria as one of 23 countries' non-cooperative in international communities' effort to fight money laundering. The mandate of the EFCC is to investigate and prosecute all cases of economic and financial crimes. The inability of the Commission to prosecute and convict high-profile financial crimes offenders since inception and the brute conduct of the officials is worrisome and Nigerians feel there's need for reorganization of the Commission. Galaxy News correspondent Levi Joseph has more in this report. By Section 7, Cap 2 of the Establishment Act 2004, the FCC is charged with the responsibility of enforcing the provisions of laws relating to economic and financial crimes, including money laundering, Act 2004 and 2011 as amended, the Advanced Fee Fraud and Other Fraud-Related Offenses Act 2006. This move is strictly to wage war against money laundering and other financial crimes in the country. EFCC is that um, the rationale behind its establishment cannot be faulted. It was most desired. And you know, it's one of those sections of the Commission that, is, um, that were um, built under what we call um, uh, fundamental objectives. The FCC was established by former President Abbasanjo um, upon his uh, election as the President of Nigeria following Nigeria's return to democracy after nearly 17 on broken years of military dictatorship in Nigeria. And the establishment of EFCC was a necessary move to address issues of corruption, massive corruption. You know. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC, ongoing crackdown on public spaces across Nigeria and the use of brute force on people who, according to Nigeria laws, are presumed innocent until proven otherwise by competent law court has sparked widespread outrage and anger. And Nigeria's criminal justice system is such that accused persons or suspects are deemed innocent until they are found, they are, they are, they are given the opportunity to appear in court to um, to face trial, fair trial, it is the court that determine you know if a suspect is um, guilty of an offence. But the way our operatives, you know, law enforcement operatives, particularly the FCC, conduct, they operate as though the suspects are already guilty. When you look at law enforcement in Nigeria generally, it doesn't appear that we understand that most of these laws can be enforced without brute use of force. To an average person who is enlisted in the police, the moment he puts on that uniform, he believes that he has been trained to be bitter against the, 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 the citizen, the public. The man who put on the red EFC sitting, just ask me, the moment he doesn't, he's not putting on that, he becomes like any other person. He reasons properly, he reasons very well. For EFCC to operate effectively and deliver on its mandatory obligations, there's need for reorientation of its personnel and the use of modern technology for investigation that will take away undue harassment of citizens. Be a change in orientation. Because if we monitor them, it doesn't matter. This is Africa, we could be too daring. This is Nigeria, we can be too daring. A man believes that except is caught by the law, whatever he's doing is in order. And you know the moment they are caught now, that is when they will now start looking like uh, gentle people. One way to do that is to ensure, one way to monitor them and ensure conformity with responsible you know, law enforcement methods is to ensure that those who go outside the law to enforce the law must be brought to account. That way they will know that it is not safe to act irresponsibly.